is excited to be here with our next Vice President, Tim Walls. All right, my friends, we know there are only four days left until this election, right? Four days left to do everything that we can. Four days left to make sure that this country enters a chapter that provides a better future. Four days left to win this damn thing. Are you ready? Together, let's turn the page and chart a new way forward with Kamala Harris. You know, she and my friend Tim have been getting all across the country, laying out the stakes of this election. And we know we have a stark choice in front of us. The choice is a guy who took our rights away or the woman who's fighting hard to protect us and get them back for us. Someone who wants to check names off of his enemies list or a woman with a to-do list. The divider in chief who wants to tear us apart and denigrate his fellow Americans or the future commander in chief who will protect and defend every one of us and our freedoms. The choice is clear. We're moving forward with Kamala Harris and we're not going back. <laughs> As president, I know that Kamala Harris will work across the aisle to get things done. She and Tim will stay focused on the kitchen table issues that make a real difference in our lives. They propose real plans to lower costs to grow our economy and to protect our freedoms. From building three million homes to tax relief for 100 million working and middle class families, to in-home care for our seniors on Medicare, to protections for women's, workers, and LGBTQ plus rights. And you know why they're fighting for us? Because they've lived lives like ours. We know that Donald Trump doesn't get it at all. You think he's ever used coupons? You think he's ever rushed out the door to drive carpool? No. Oh, hell no. You know he doesn't even have a driver's license. You don't need one when you're chauffeured your whole life. You think he's ever, you think he's ever shoveled a neighbor's driveway? No. You all know he doesn't own a shovel either, right? Listen, I'm supporting Vice President Harris and Governor Walls, not only because they understand us, but also because they will bring decades of experience and integrity to the White House. There's no learning curve for these two. They will hit the ground running on day one and they will get shit done. They understand that the future of our economy is at stake. And that's why, as Vice President Kamala Harris helped pass bipartisan legislation creating good paying jobs right here in Michigan. Today, there are more auto workers than when Trump was president. Yeah. Labor force participation is at a 15 year high, construction jobs at a 22 year high, and total employment. The number of Michiganders working is at a 23-year high. We are fixing more of the damn roads than ever. We're creating and protecting thousands of good-paying, middle-class factory jobs all across the state of Michigan. And all this work, ultimately, is about you and your family. We want Michiganders to be able to go home at the end of the day tuck their kids in at night, go to sleep knowing that their family is going to be okay, that they make enough to have a safe and secure retirement. And while we're headed in the right direction, and I'm proud of where we, how far we've come in the last four years, we certainly have got more good work to do. And when we face serious problems, and we will, we know that there is going to be some sort of crisis that we are going to have to confront. We will need a serious commander-in-chief like Kamala Harris. We don't need someone who talks a big game but doesn't deliver. You know who said he'd create jobs, but the truth is we lost 280,000 jobs when Trump was president. 
He said not one auto plant would close. Well, he was right. Six closed. He said he'd make health care cheaper. But all he tried to do was repeal Obamacare, and let's be glad he was a failure at that, too. We cannot afford another Donald Trump presidency. As president, he cut taxes for the wealthiest among us. And I ain't talking about anyone in this hangar. In a second term, he's going to be worse. He made it easier for, the, for people and companies to cut corners, screw workers, and pollute our air and water. Not only does he say he's going to cut taxes for the wealthy again, but he wants to enact a national sales tax on the rest of us. 4000 bucks. That's how much more it's going to cost the average person in this country if he gets back into office. And on top of bad policy, I want to talk about his dangerous rhetoric. As someone who's been the target of it, I know only too well that words have consequences. The ugliness that he promotes he wants to end qualified immunity for police, putting our families and communities and law enforcement officers at risk. He wants to go after the enemy from within and prosecute his political opponents. He trashed the city of Detroit and auto workers. And he and his buddy, J.D. Vance, want to pursue a national abortion ban. I thought Michigan had spoken on that issue two years ago. Well, guess what? We got to speak again in this election, and it's talking about abortion rights as well as everything else on this ballot. Picking a president is about policy, but we also know it is about character. A president's actions impact people's lives, for better or worse, and a president's words can change the way we feel about ourselves, about our communities, about our country, about our future. We deserve a president who embodies the values we try to pass on to our children. You work hard, you tell the truth, and you get shit done. We don't need a con artist, a bully in the White House. We don't need a guy who thinks that he knows better about our bodies than we do. No, sir. We can argue about policy, but we deserve a commander-in-chief that has real plans, that tells the truth, that represents all Americans, no matter who they are or who they voted for. And that one and only candidate is Kamala Harris. So you're here today because you know the stakes of the election, but not everyone does. So we've got work to do in these last four days. What really changes people's minds or gets them to turn out is when they hear from you. All the money on television, all the rallies pale in comparison to a fellow American, a fellow Michigander, a fellow coworker, or parishioner, or someone in your neighborhood or family who talks to you and asks you what's important and tells you why Kamala Harris is the candidate for you. We've got to show up and do this work every minute we can between now and this election. Because the real power is not in the pockets of lobbyists. It is in the people. So here's my, my ask of you. Take care of yourself in these next four days. Hydrate yourself. Caffeinate yourself. And if you, if you run across a vegetable, eat the damn thing. The kids are going to be okay if they eat pizza every night from now till this election. But they won't be if we don't turn it out for Kamala Harris in this election. So, are you ready to knock some doors? Are you ready to get out the vote? Are you ready to win this thing? All right, Flint, I love you.